Hey, here we go. Game number one. Like I said before, they will be going PS2. Repton on Ridley, V for Izu on Cloud. And here we go. I think V for Izu saw him play last week. He had a few struggles against some of the uh, higher caliber players. Maybe this week he'll be a little bit better. And maybe this will be a good uh, warm up for him. Up against the Ridley player, he should have the advantage here. But again, no idea about Lepton. He might be a extremely good Ridley. We'll have to see already a really good start for Lepton. And he's juggling V Furizu quite a bit here. V Furizu over 100. He has his limit break available. See what he opts to use, but Lepton determined to not even give him an opportunity to use it on anything besides his recovery. So V Furizu essentially having to waste that. And Lepton, really strong start for him here. See if he can carry it into taking the first stock. Furizu could cross slash, buys himself a little bit of time to charge his limit, and he's gonna alternate between throwing out blade beams and charging his limit break as long as Lepton keeps walking into those. I'll give you Furizu some decent room to breathe. Lepton though, getting up in his face. Furizu playing a really dangerous game here, narrowly avoiding that down smash. Lepton though, getting the side, the side special and just pile driving V Furizu into oblivion and taking that first stock. So nice shot by Lepton, closing it out after taking that early lead. But he is over 114%. So V Furizu should be able to find an equalizer here. There it is with the side smash. That is going to get it done. Just 20% extra credit for Lepton, so not much of a lead whatsoever. V Furizu doing a nice job getting things back under control quickly after going down early. has his limit break available again, and they are just trading blows back and forth. Great timing on that cross slash from Furizu. That's not a good back air, sending Furizu flying. Is he gonna be able to recover? He is, he had his second jump. I wasn't quite sure. They are just trading blows back and forth right now. Very even in percent, great Clem Hazard. From Furizu, that's not going to be able to make it back though as well. But a great back air, and Furizu taking the stock lead up 2-1 to one now. But he's at 123%, great spot dodge, making sure he holds on to his limit break. That's on. can't get a quick kill on him, but B Furizu whiffs hard on that blade beam. So that limit break doesn't do much at all. However, that's on. it's up to about 40%, so nice extra credit for Furizu, considering he only lived for really a few seconds after taking that lead. Once again, back and forth they go on this final stock, but Lepton approaching that 100% threshold. v may just take this first game, but it is probably going to come down to the wires. Lepton getting some good nares, racking up a little bit of damage. He's just getting it bit by bit. Great side special. v is probably going to have to use his limit on his recovery, and he does. So no limit break as we come down to a last hit situation. v is he going to be able to recover? He is not. Lepton just just enough to keep him away from the ledge. And v may have gone for the wrong play there, trying to use his cross slash to slow his fall. And Bupton, once again, does just enough to take game one. v comes up a little short, trying to make it to that ledge at the end. So Bupton taking game one by a very narrow margin. This should set up an exciting game too. I think this one will probably go to three based on that first game.
Looks like. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong set here. I was about to say they're going Battlefield. They're going to go Final Destination for game two. Lepton sticking with Ridley. And I imagine V Freeze is going to stay with Cloud, but you never know. Farizu actually swapping to Toon Link. So not sticking with Cloud at all. As we head into game two on Final Destination, V Farizu looking to bounce back from a close loss in game one. Let's see if he can get it done. It's a nice little start there with a couple up tilts in that boomerang. Lepton is gonna have to deal with all the little tools. That Toon Link has available to him. The bomb, the boomerang, a ranged grab. Also the arrows as well. All of those things add up to make one rather annoying character to play against the times. But so far, they're pretty much even in percent. Left on doing a nice job. Using his large body, getting up in B-Farisu's face. He's got some pretty big hitboxes, so despite being kind of kept out of a range, B-Farisu is still liable to get hit from a slight distance. Nice back throw, though. Left on, just barely make it into the legend time before that bomb goes off. Ooh, good back air. Left on just gets on B-Farisu, one, two hits, and then uh, takes that first stock. Ridley. It's deceptively strong. He's not listed as a heavyweight, although he hits like one at times. I'm nearly finding that up smash. And look at this, V for Rizu, already up to 80% on the second stock. So after a little bit of a shaky start, left on suddenly going on a massive run here. V for Rizu is treading water. Kind of just barely surviving at the moment. Sounds at 165 percent and just refusing to go down. But Mikurizu really relying more on his projectiles and solid hits from his sword. And finally, he is going to land a killing blow. Mikurizu though over 100 percent. So Lepton has the benefit of having all that extra credit. And just like that, he finds another back air and goes up two stocks to one. So Lepton maybe. And we're at the closing this set out as V Farizu is really struggling after swapping off of Cloud. He was doing so much better in game one and it came down to the wire. And now, after swapping to Toon Link, it's all falling apart for him. Fun time. Great there at the ledge, and that should be enough to get the job done. He nearly saved B Farizu. But it was all for naught. Left on ends up with the JV2. Ends up taking the series. And we'll be moving on to quarterfinals. Meanwhile, B Farizu, an early exit. Two losers bracket. 